Implausible promises don't win victories. I'll tell you what happens with impossible promises. You start with far-fetched resolutions. They are then pickled into a rigid dogma, a code. And you go through the years sticking to that, outdated, misplaced, irrelevant to the real needs, and you end in the grotesque chaos of a Labour Council, a Labour Council hiring taxis to scuttle around the city, handing out redundancy notices to its own workers. How fulfilling the short-term egos! I tell you, and you listen. I'm telling you, you can't play politics with people's jobs and with people's services. people, not the people here, the voice of the real people with real needs is louder than all the boos that can be assembled. Understand that, please, comrades, in your socialism, in your commitment to those people, understand it. The people will not, cannot abide posturing. They can't respect the gesture generals all the tendency tacticians. Comrades, it seems to me lately that some of our number become like sort of latter-day public school boys. It seems it matters not whether you won or lost, but how you played the game. We can't take that inspiration from many of different. Because I owe this party everything I've got, not the job, not being leader of the Labour Party, I owe this party every life chance I've had from the time I was a child. A life chance. The life chance of a comfortable home with working parents, people who had jobs. A life chance of moving out of a pest and dump infested set of rooms into a decent home built by a Labour Council under a Labour Government. The life chance of an education that went on for as long as I wanted to take it. Me and millions of others of my generation got all their chances from this movement. That's what We've got to win. Not for our sakes, but really, truly, to deliver the British people from evil. Let's do it.